Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Sa video na ito, gagawa tayo ng ukulele tutorial for the song Sabik sa Presensya Mo by Faith Music Manila. Bagong lahat, we have to make sure na nakatono ang ating ukulele sa standard tuning of G, C, E, A. G, C, E. Sa tutorial na ito, gagamit tayo ng 6 chords and these are G, D, E minor, and C. G, D, or we can play the D like this. And then E minor and C. Ang strumming pattern na gagamitin natin for this song ay down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Subukan natin ang strumming pattern with the G chord. Ang intro natin para sa kantang to ay G. D, E minor, and C. G, D, E minor, and C. Uulitin lang natin yun na dalawang beses at lahat ng chords will have one count of the strumming pattern except sa last C chord. That will have two counts of the strumming pattern. Subukan natin tugtugin ang intro. Moving on sa first verse ng ating song, ang ating chord progression ay G, D, E minor, and C. At uulitin lang natin yun ng apat na beses. And all the chords will have one count of the strumming pattern except sa last D chord. That will have two counts of the strumming pattern. Simulan natin sa G chord, one count of the strumming pattern. Ako ay nai D. One count of the strumming pattern. E minor, one count of the strumming pattern. And then C, one count of the strumming pattern. Another G. D, E minor. C, Another G, ako ay nai D, to ngayon, E minor, nananabig, C, G, nananabig na, D, makita, E minor, luwalati na, D, two counts of the strumming pattern, E, Kantayin natin ang buo ang verse 1. Ako ay narito ngayon, naghihintay. Inaasam sa presensya, o'y muli naranasan. Ako ay narito ngayon, nananabig. Nananabig. Sa chorus part ng ating song, lahat ng chords will have one count of the strumming pattern except ulit dun sa pinakalas na chord natin which is the D chord that will have two counts of the strumming pattern. 
Simulan natin sa G chord. Counts of the strumming pattern. Sita. G. Pangino. D. Jesus. G. Malaya. Malaya. D. Ka. C. Bago. Counts of the strumming pattern. Complete natin ng chorus part. Tapos nun, ulitin natin ang verse 1 at chorus part ng ating song. With the same chord progression and strumming pattern. So lang guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. At kung may natutunan ka sa video na ito, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa ating channel. Another reminder from Ephesians 5.19 that says, Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Kita-kits ulit tayo sa mga susunod na tutorials. God bless you and stay safe!